Hey everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video, and today we're going to be doing a beginner's guide to Hawkman. So, with that said, a brief history of Hawkman. Hawkman's real name is Kara Hall, and originally he was an Egyptian prince who had fallen in love with his one and only true soulmate. However, both of them were murdered by a high priest, and a curse was placed on them. This curse would be that after they died, they would be resurrected, they would be reborn, reincarnated. However, when they found their one and only true loves themselves again, their soulmates, they would be killed again. And then the process would continue, so they constantly die, get reborn, find each other, die, get reborn, find each other, so on and so forth. In today's day and age, Carter Hall is an archaeologist. He also dons the persona of Hawkman. He has the ability to use tools and weapons that are made out of a material called Nth Metal, which is from another planet called Thanagar. Nth Metal has many different properties to it. He makes a harness with wings on it, which allows him to fly, made of Nth Metal, and his weapons are made of Nth Metal. He goes around and he fights evil on both the supervillain-like side the criminal side, and the magical side. So it kind of hits all areas of the fictional comic book villainy media area. Anyways, with that said, personality. Carl Hall has a unique personality because, like Wonder Woman, he's a man of two worlds. On one hand, he's a very cultured, battle-worn, smart, intellectual individual who's had many different lives and taken experiences from all those lives. He's like an old man who's in a young man's body. However, despite the fact that he's cultured, refined, and gentleman-like, at the same time, he is a savage brute that has no problem with violence whatsoever. He's actually quite possibly one of the most violent superheroes in the DC Universe. I often like to make a unique comparison, and not everyone agrees with me on this, is that Hawkman is DC's equivalent to Wolverine, in that both of them have lived a very long time, Hawkman a little bit longer, seeing that, you know, he can constantly die and come back to life. Both are refined and have worlds and years of experience, but at the same time, they're aggressive, they're brutish, and they can go into a rage. I find Hawkman to be a little bit better than Wolverine, but that's just my opinion. Powers and Abilities Well, Hawkman has all the accumulated knowledge from his previous lives and experiences, so he's an incredible hand-to-hand -hand combatant, an incredible weapons master, second only to the likes of, say, Wonder Woman when it comes down to weaponry, and Batman, Lady Shiva, Dick Grayson when it comes down to martial arts, or any kind of form of hand-to-hand -hand combat. So he's proficient with a whole slew of weapons, and what you will find if you read his comic, and if you also read some of his previous comics, is that every mission he uses a different weapon. Sometimes a boomerang, sometimes a spear, sometimes a sword, sometimes a trident, sometimes a sling with some bolts, but his most common weapon is his mace. Hawkman is well known for his mace. All his weapons are made out of nth metal, making them stronger and more potent when hit. He also wears Nth Metal in his harness and his wings, which allow him to fly. Nth Metal also speeds up his healing process and increases his strength, durability, and his uh, fortitude. What you can expect if you were to read Hawkman. The best way to describe Hawkman's comic, and this is a very vague way of doing it, but the best way to describe it is a superhero Indiana Jones. Hawkman is all about adventures. Sometimes he'll go to Egypt and do an adventure there, or maybe he'll go to Mesopotamia, or maybe he'll go to Paris, or maybe he'll go to somewhere in the United States, or Canada, or South America, China, you name it. He'll go there, and it's an adventure. He's an archaeologist, but trouble always follows him. He also, again, hits a lot of the different areas of the DC Universe. He deals with common criminals. He deals with supervillains like Shadow Thief. And then he deals with uh, magical villains, too. So there's a whole slew of different kind of villains that he goes up against. If you're a person that enjoys adventure stories, and you also enjoy stories that have a lot of action and a lot of violence in it, because it does, then you're definitely going to like Hawkman. And as I said before, although this may not be the best comparison, he's kind of like Wolverine. 
He's a very savage individual that's also cultured and refined at the same time. So if you're a Marvel fan and you want something equivalent to that, you might find at least some of it with Hawkman. One small note before going into Hawkman is that Hawkman, before this relaunch, has had a very tremendously confusing history. Second to only probably Donna Troy with exactly his history and continuity. This is more or less editorial problems than actually the character itself. But it does not also affect the character. However, during this relaunch, chances are they're going to clean up this continuity for Hawkman and streamline him for all the people who are new to Hawkman. If this is the case, I strongly suggest if you want to get into Hawkman to wait until the relaunch, just to avoid any confusion. It's a fantastic character that has a lot to offer, but it really is just the fact that he has such a confusing backstory that makes people not want to read him. However, like I said, this relaunch is probably going to clean it up and uh, streamline his history, so it's easy, understandable, and you can jump right into it. So with that said, I'm going to end this video here. This is Andrew saying, peace out for now.